Well, we're looking at a cannon cast in bronze. It's about 3.4 metres long, so it, it's very large. It's a 42 pounder. It weighs just over three tonnes, and it's quite an ornate example. It's got a lot of uh, fine detail, like the dolphins and the royal coat of arms. Well, it's been a decade long, really getting the cannon to where we are today. It was raised, I think, in 2008 uh, from the wreck in the English Channel. Um, at that time, it was covered in marine concretions, so it looked kind of white and crusty. Um, and then it's undergone a lot of conservation work, uh, mainly by Westing College conservators, to painstakingly really remove that encrustation um, and reveal the lovely surface that we see today. Um, then it had to be treated with corrosion inhibitors to stabilise what was there um, and to remove as many of the chloride ions as possible because obviously seawater is quite damaging to metals. When it was being conserved, they uh, discovered that the gun was loaded. They found uh, a cannonball inside um, along with the hemp wadding and some very wet gunpowder residues. The gun is a muzzle loading kind. Um, this one was probably on the lower gun deck of the ship. That's where the heavier guns generally were. And um, I believe the Victory carried um, at least 100 of these guns, maybe up to 110. HMS Victory is obviously a very famous uh, ship today that you can see in the dockyard. But this Victory was her predecessor. Uh, she was laid down in 1737. And at that time was also um, quite a, a famous ship. Um, she was probably the largest, the best armed. Um, she was a first rate ship of war and uh, she was also carrying quite a famous admiral on board at the time that she went down. The cannon is a really powerful piece of ordnance. It's a 42 pounder. It's one of the largest that the Navy made at the time and there are very few examples of these that you can still see today. Visitors will get to see something that is incredibly rare. I can't think of another um, gun of this type in a museum collection, so it, it's kind of a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity.